Hi guys and welcome to another video. In today's video I am going to show you my cosmetics. I have to say that I am not the beauty expert, I am not a cosmetician or anything like that. These are just the products that I am using and that's it. For those who don't know me, my name is Dominica and I make videos about veganism, low waste and minimalism. Everything is plant-based, vegan and cruelty-free. Some of the products are bought, some of them are bought in bulk, some of them were package free, some of them were not, and some of the things are my homemade cosmetic products. So let's get straight into the video. So the first thing I want to mention is uh, 18 in 1 and I just love this product. It's a Dr. Brunner's liquid soap. I use it for almost everything. You can use it as a hair wash, as a body sh as a body wash, as a hand wash. You can also add it to your cleaning products like everywhere. 18 in 1. The next thing I have from this brand is uh, toothpaste, my peppermint toothpaste. The packaging is 100% recyclable, it's vegan, so it is a sustainable brand. I also make my toothpaste myself, but I do not have it right now because I run out of it. That's why I bought this one. Next thing I bought for my teeth were these Dantabs, but I it's not actually my thing, so I don't use it that much. But if you have any other experience, please let me know. The mascara, which is probably one or two years old and I'm still using it. It's, um, I think, German brand called Alverde. And it's cruelty free, it's vegan. And that's the only thing actually I use as a making myself pretty. What I also use for my face is this rose water and it's actually a very very good thing if you have dry and sensitive skin because it's awesome i am here with my coconut oil and this is a very very versatile thing and i use it almost for everything like to my body butter to my hand cream to my face cream and you can also use it as a lip balm, just as it is, like this. It is really, really moisturizing. So if you have a dry skin, go for coconut oil. I also made my lip balm. I will put you link to my video somewhere here. And as you, and as you see, I am running out of it. And it's just two ingredients recipe, she butter, and and uh, almond oil and i also added essential oil of coconut it smells like that another thing i also use in my homemade products is uh, cocoa butter and i use it mostly for my body butter and it smells heavenly <laughs> what i also add to my most of the products is almond oil and it is also one of the versatile products that I actually use. Very good for a dry and sensitive skin. And a lot of baby actually have this uh, almond oil in their product. So go for it. Another oil I have is jojoba oil. And you can use it good as a makeup remover or also add to your homemade things. The last oil that I added to my body butter is this, I, I don't know actually how you call it, is this a wheat oil? Well, it's an organic wheat oil, wheat seed oil, <laughs> I'm sure you know what I mean. This one is also actually recommended for people with the eczema and dry and sensitive skin. As you can see, this is my homemade body butter. I have to make a large portion because I run out of this 
very very quickly what I also add to most of my product is vitamin E it's a little bottle because you only need one or two drops in every of your products very good thing so what I use for my hair is actually this bar shampoo the la this one I bought is actually in plastic packaging but it's a good thing because I can simply refill it with another bar soap or bar shampoo and reuse it again I will definitely buy another one because it also smells good and it's awesome this is the simple hand wash I use it's also almond sweet almond here is the she butter I buy I need to buy it on the internet because I haven't found anything in supermarket or the bulk stores and this one is 100% natural and, and additive free I use it for almost everything as I mentioned body butter hand cream, face cream, lip balm, essential oils um, I have a peppermint which I use for my toothpaste or for my mouthwash then I have grapefruit and whole leaves so the last thing I want to mention is uh, my homemade bath salt which I made also as a Christmas gift it's Himalayan salt dry flowers, um, baking soda and grapefruit essential oils it smells good and it also looks good so you can give it to someone and you have a nice homemade gift all natural just with the simple ingredients you can create a lot of stuff believe me you just need to be a little bit creative and you're gonna love it I think I mentioned everything that I wanted in a quick cosmetic video if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask write a comment and I am also excited what do you guys use which kind of products do you use if you also make your homemade stuff please let me know if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Check me on the Instagram where I am posting every single day. Also, you can read my blog. I will put all the links in info box. <laughs> and if you don't want to miss any of my other videos, make sure you subscribe. I hope I'll see you soon. Bye.